Hi Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel and this is our snapshot for the week of June the 29th. Um, all right, so we have a full moon in our sign this week. It's on the uh, it's on the second, or I think it's on the second. That's Greenwich time. Uh, so, uh, which means the moon and the sun are right opposite each other, and the sun is in our area of relationships along with Mars. So. You know, guess what? If you're looking for love, then it can really come together right now. So, and passionately as well. Um, so, um, we also have, um, let's have a look. We've got uh, the Sun and Neptune in a trine. So, uh, this can really add some romance on there and a good communication too. So the stars are all lining up for love for you at the moment. But of course, you know, you want to sort of get out of your office a little bit. I mean, work is always on our mind because, you know, that's what we do part of the Capricorn DNA is to make a difference in the world through our work and the um, solar house that rules us. So we rule is the 10th house and that's all about career business and uh, our per and that's our purpose in life so that's not or that's not far from us but right now there's you know a good chance that we can enjoy ourselves romantically or, or socially at least and family come into it as well this week so we want to be a little bit flexible with our schedule because, you know, life is more than work. I mean, uh, uh, so we do have like there's a, a very, very favorable aspects right through this week. So if you have been working on something, uh, a project, a creative project particularly, it can come through this week. So we've got love, romance and creativity. You can get inspired also if you're trying to find a new angle on a project, which I am at the moment, then this is a week that you can get inspired to do so. And right on the first of the month, there's an incredibly advantageous and beneficial aspect between Venus and Jupiter. Now, of course, Venus is the planet of love and money and Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion. So when these two are together, when you fuse these two together, it's a fantastic energy that, that goes out. And it's in the sign of Leo, so it doesn't really get much better than this because Leo is a very giving um, sign. So, And for us, Capricorn, it sits in our solar eighth house. So this is very nice for passion. You know, when we're looking at, at uh, love, and it's a very great to get passionate about life, but also it's great to team up with people. This is also known as another financial area of our chart, and it's a great area where if, if you can team up with people, um, then that's really where the success comes with business that can be financially viable, all right? And um, let's face it, there's two things that make the world go around. One is most definitely love, the other is money. All right, so I hope something great comes through for each and every one of us. Love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.